Hi there, my name is Steve Carter, otherwise known as Steve OC on my blog, and in this very short video, I'm going to show you how to enable UPMP on Microtik Routeros enabled devices. I've recently written a blog post showing you how to do this in the command line, however, it wasn't the best at letting you know what each interface should be, so I thought I'd show you graphically using the Winbox interface. So let's dive straight in because it is really, really easy to do. So we're going to open Winbox and then make our way to our main router. Uh, you will see on here I have a main router and an attic switch. However, attic switch is my main router. Figure that one out. So I'm going to connect into it. UPMP comes under the IP header. So we're going to drop straight down to that. And you'll see by default it's not enabled. However, just clicking this won't make it work. We need to go into interfaces and we need to actually name both an internal and an external interface. So for this, I'm going to add an internal interface. And for this, my internal interface is going to be bridge one. If your router uses a form of CPU bridge to pull your interfaces together so anything with a wireless chip where you have Ethernet ports on the LAN uh, or alternatively for a router like my own uh, I have an RV3011 but also applicable to the 2011 series you will probably be using a software bridge to pull all those ports together if you have just something very simple and Ethernet based with no wireless you are probably using the master slave, at which point you need to put your master Ethernet interface in here. As a general rule of thumb, the interface which goes here needs to be the one which you're serving your, your internet connection from on the local side. So effectively, wherever you have that LAN IP as your gateway, this needs to be it. So we'll hit OK on that. And now we've done our internal we need to add our external interface. So to do this, again, very simple, we'll hit add, we'll drop down to external, and then we will change that to our external interface. Now, again, this will probably be different for you. Um, some of the Microtik routers come with port one as their internet interface. So if that's the case, you need to put that here. For me, I use a PPPoE client which actually sits on port number 10. However, it is the PPP client which we want to use, so I'm going to click on that because that's where my public IP address sits on. Once you've clicked that and you've made sure it's on external, you're going to click OK. You can force an external IP here, but I really, really wouldn't recommend it. If you use a dynamic IP, then you're going to have to keep changing it, or alternatively, you're just adding more complexity for the sake of it. So let's just hit OK. So now we have a, both an internal and an external interface. Let's close this box and hit Enable. Now we also have the option to allow to disable external interface. I wouldn't recommend this. If anything on your local network becomes compromised, then there is a chance that UPnP can be used to effectively give you a denial of service. So I'd leave that one. Also, show dummy rule is a good one to tick so that should you have any questionable instances, you can actually go into your firewall and see the rules which UPMP is making. We'll hit OK, and that's it. We have UPMP enabled on our Microtik router. So, if you need any more information, my blog post is available on my website, steveoc.co.uk. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Um, please do leave a like or subscribe if you want to see any more videos like this. I am hoping to do a few more in the future. I'm hoping to make them a little bit more in depth as well. Okay, thank you.